Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Adam Agro. This is Spike Saturn. And these are the games we bought recently. First off, I'm going to start off by saying that it's Spike's birthday today. Happy birthday, Spike. Making him a big spaghetti dinner, so show your love and wish him a happy birthday for fuck's sakes down below. Um, we're going to get straight into the games that we bought recently. I'll start off with one that I found at Goodwill. Absolutely. Which is for the Sega Genesis. It's called E-SWAT. Pretty gnarly running gun. I guess it's an early release. Four bucks. Doesn't have the instructions though. But the cart's in pretty good shape. Right there. So you want to show off running gun? I'm the doggy. <laughs> well, as a lovely present from Mr. Adam Agro. That's me. And his really chill girlfriend. Tower Defense. I think it's called Desktop Tower Defense. Well, yes. Desktop Tower Defense. And the fact that you're pretty much shooting off dust mites. Uh, it's a really, really great game. DSi, definitely. And if you've ever played a tower defense game, this one's a little more innovative. Uh, you actually make the maze with the towers instead of having a set maze, so it's very addictive. Check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna get into my uh, my last three games right here. Um, my last video, my last pick of video, I asked you guys to uh, you know tell me some good PSP titles that I should pick up, and I got a lot of. Uh, a lot of good feedback and stuff like that. Mostly uh, Demon Machine over there, who uh, gave me a couple titles. One that I played more than a few times, though, and that was uh, Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. Fucking awesome. I played this at Playing Trade before I bought the PSP, so it was on my list. It's pretty hardcore, but it's awesome. Yeah, complete used at GameStop. I don't remember how much. A lot, because it's a new game. But the other game he said, which I never heard of before, was Pretty, which I guess is part of the. Dis, 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 how do you pronounce that? This Gia. The Gia series. I could be wrong. And they say dude a lot. I guess it's like a side story or something. This is a fucking awesome hack and slash platformer difficult up the ass game, though. Play the shit out of this. It's a good thing that the turtles never copyrighted, dude. Well, actually, they say it D O O D. Oh. So, they got that shit covered up. They got a lockdown. The last game I got, I got because I really wanted a shooter for the uh, PSP. And this one is classic claymation side-scrolling shooter. I don't know how it's classic because I've never seen a claymation shooter before. Yeah. And uh, it's called Platypus, which so far I don't think has anything to do with anything. Is that a bad Mr. Frost game there? No, I was hoping it would be like like clay space fighters because that would have been fucking awesome. But I mean, it's still good. Uh, you know, definitely check it out. I got this five dollars used at GameStop. Sumo Santa would have been a great blimp to shoot with. Yeah, it would have been awesome. So, your last game that you got for your B-Day. Well, before I show it off, I am a huge Castlevania nut. Huge. And uh, soon enough, hopefully, I'll be getting a Symphony of the Night sleeve. Never actually own a copy of Symphony of the Night. Uh, but ever since I played it, I've always wanted it. So my girlfriend, most amazing girl ever, actually picked me up the Saturn import of Symphony of the Night. And uh, for those of you uh, who aren't too familiar with Symphony of the Night, well, hell, everybody's familiar with Symphony of the Night. What am I saying? Um, it's just, uh, it, it was kind of the first one to spawn the RPG uh, feel of Castlevania. Um, if you've ever played any of the DS or Game Boy Advance ones, you know what Symphony of the Night's like, except it's just ten times better. Awesome storyline um, following Alucard, Dracula's son. And the Saturn version's got, like, so much extra footage in it. I mean, it's got uh, extra areas, and it's got um, extra weapons, extra everything, I hear. So, damn. Good shit. Intense. Good shit, indeed. Well, and uh, feel free to send him some gifts as well, if you want to. Okay. 
next order of business is, I guess, like a mini update thing is I got a desktop doohickey thing going. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm working really hard, which is why I look awful. I want to look awful when I work hard and stuff. But yeah, I got a new computer! So I get to do more more fun stuff. Look at this mess. It's atrocious. But because I'm working hard, I am forgiven. I'm going to try to go with the dual monitors here. I uh, don't know exactly if that's going to work. This new Dell one, about 80% better. And uh, about 80% cheaper, too. So it's awesome. So once I actually get some stock footage, I'll be able to make a new intro and all that shit for you guys. Uh, I do not have, uh, you know, all the footage off my old hard drive yet, but in time, it'll be coming. Yeah. And Spike here is going to be doing three collection videos coming up here. We got Nintendo DS, yeah. the PlayStation 2, yeah. and the Sega Genesis. So, which one are you going to do first? Well, not too sure. I think maybe we should uh, let them decide. Let them decide? Let them decide. Those crazy fuckers? Those, those crazy, crazy MFers. Our demographic says that uh, most of our viewers are over the age of 18. Motherfuckers. Okay, so post below uh, which collection video you like to see. I mean, you don't have to, but uh, if you let us decide, we're going to do something stupid. Yeah. So let us let us know down there which collection you want to see first between the Nintendo DS, the PlayStation 2, and the Sega Genesis. Yeah, and nail clipping collection is not an option. Well, we already shot that. We'll post that eventually, but it's kind of on the back. Yeah. It keeps growing. <laughs> 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 all right, well, that's all we got today. We'll see you next time. I will pay all